So, uh, TSR, during the time of the heyday of Advanced Dungeons & Dragons, second edition, uh, they started branching off to try and give uh, different campaigns and uh, different things to help add to your game to make it exciting. And Planescape was one of them. This is the original box. Uh, the box set for Planescape for the campaign setting. Advanced Dungeon Dragon 2nd Edition. This is not a review. This is just nothing but a open uh, unboxing of something like this. I haven't actually been able to find anything like this on YouTube. So I'm just actually putting it out there. Because it took me a long time to actually find this box set at a reasonable price. The price for it is so high. Which I didn't understand why, but uh, talking to a couple of my friends, and they say it's because of the video game. The video game that they released actually influences a lot of people to still track this down and actually add it to their collection. That and probably a lower print run. But uh, basically, my entire Planescape is here on the table. I might have a couple modules, but this is what I have. Uh, before we crack this open, I do have a monstrous compatium. This is the appendix. Um, I just threw this out here because uh, once we go through this box, I'm actually going to put this inside the box so I keep it all together. Uh, when this came out, 18 US, 23 Canadian. And then when you go through it, uh, it has like that wispy art that Planescape is so well known for. And I believe they actually pulled these cards for uh, Chaos Wars, maybe? Maybe that's the same art style that I'm thinking of. It's a C CCG that came out uh, back in the day to help uh, give a little competition to Magic the Gathering during its big high uh, heyday. And this is actually a pretty awesome book. Uh, the art cut grows on you because it's all like this pencil watercolor charcoal kind of stuff and it's actually pretty cool and I'm I'm a huge fan of monster manuals as it is so even if I didn't have the box set I would I'd want this so that's pretty cool I'm not sure if they ever came out with that part two but that's the only one that I have now when you grab the box set and it's a heavy tomb this thing is actually pretty heavy glory uh, majesty you don't know the dark of it discover the multiverse enter infinite universes of infinite variety worlds beyond the prime material settings of the AD and d game explore sigil the city of doors filled with portals to every layer of every plane all you need is the right key including in this box set player's guide dm's guide sigil and beyond monstrous supplement Four poster sized maps and a four panel DM screen. Until now, only the most powerful wizards could peek into the magnificent multiverse, but no longer. Gone are the unimaginable distances and the insurmountable obstacles that only the ultra powerful could hope to overcome. Now, even the greenest adventurer can enter the plains. Though surviving long is another matter. Have at it, Burke. Powers, proxies, planners, petitioners, and wondrous monsters await just beyond the portal. Step through and partake of the infinite excitement of Planescape Adventures. So, and we'll be careful with it because we don't want to break any of these binds. We'll put that right there. And let's flip this forward and see what's in the old box here. So we have a customer response card. This is the Monstrous Supplement. It's a thinner than the that original one. And I actually haven't compared to see if this is some of the same monsters in that supplement that they released. The Maw Drones, they just came out with a bunch of minis for that in their last, last uh, pre-painted release, Spirit of the Air. Oh, we did see that art on the other one. So maybe there is a couple Duplicates, and then we have four maps. One, two, three, and four. So we'll just flip one open just to, because they're gonna to be too big for the screen. 
but um, just to show you some of the art style this must be the yeah this is the different planes oh the outer planes right here with a little uh, key code to it so one three and they probably have it all around the actual map so you can actually match up the abyss do we even see number 11 on here somewhere no well 11 this is the abyss cool all right so we've got four maps set that in there this is the dm's guide to the planes same style of art flip through nothing's released not as much art in here as you would think but then again Seagull and Beyond, this is one of the other supplements that it said on the back that it's going to come with. Some of uh, what the city might look like. Rat folk. Uh, I don't know. Skeksis from Dark Crystal maybe. Some noble and riding cool little mounts. Prisoners. So I don't know if there's actually uh, a little adventure in there, but we need to take a look at. Uh, player's Guide to the Plane. So this must be to help build characters, I guess, or what's what and what's where. Oh yeah, just a just a player's cheat code so you can actually come in, kind of knowing what to expect in this world or this planes, I guess. The art's really nice though. And this actually has full color. The other ones seem to have a little bit more line art. And then you have your DM screen. There's a four panel page fold out. Uh, the art on both sides. And then with the, the crazy icon in the middle. So we'll put that in there. And we'll close this up. So if you're thinking about picking something like this up for your collection, uh, be prepared. These do bring up a lot of costs and uh, do your best to try and get one that's complete. I do see on eBay that people have destroyed boxes so you can find some of these supplements individual auctions but I'll let you decide which route you want to go. But I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this. Um, like I said there's a lot of great videos out there about the actual review. This is nothing but a, just a quick peek of what's inside the box. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.